point to anything over the last 11 years where anybody in either party has had a significant impact on dealing with the debt or cutting anything back. So, uh, uh, so you know, one of our signature achievements at OpenTheBooks.com, something that I'm most proud of, has been at Veterans Affairs. So at Veterans Affairs, we've audited their checkbook for the past four years. And last summer, we found that during a period where up to a thousand sick veterans died while waiting to see a doctor, that the VA spent $20 million on a high-end art portfolio. So it was 27-foot Christmas trees costing the amount, like priced like cars, $21,000. It was sculptures priced like five-bedroom homes. It was two sculptures for $700,000 procured by a VA center that serves blind veterans. It was a cube rock sculpture all in with landscaping for $1.2 million. This is the type of waste that's in our government, and this is the type of waste that we can expose. That story made Good Morning America, ABC World News Tonight. It was picked up by Chuck Grassley, the Senate Judiciary Chairman, and within 34 days, the VA Secretary Robert McDonald apologized for those purchases and instituted new rules to stop them going forward. Let me ask you, though, the operative question. Did they sell them? Did they get the money back? Did, is there any reason why the VA needs a $20 million painting anywhere? Well, right. Our, our policy, which they did not adopt, was that veterans art should be displayed in veterans medical facilities, not fancy art. They didn't adopt that policy. But why is it it's so hard for any of them to cut back anything? I think it's a culture and a mindset of bureaucracy, and that's completely different and antithetical to how regular people all across the country live their lives. And so the voice of we as the people we need to influence the pol political elites in the country at every level. And that's why this movement is worthy of a lifetime of legacy.